Hi, my name is Jack. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about self-help but majority ng videos na pinaproduce ko is about personal finance. Yung reason behind is because I work for Sun Life as an advisor and I think yung mga learning summons from our seminar should be shared into a larger audience. Okay, in today's video, we will be talking about financial freedom and how you could achieve it. In my own definition, financial freedom is yung hindi ka na mag worry if ends will meet and pagka nasolve mo na lahat ng money problems mo. You've got money problems! And money problems are things like, how am I gonna pay rent? How am I gonna pay for food? I'm sick and can't afford to go to the doctor. I can't get a job because I can't drive to work. I don't have any nice clothes to wear that job interview. It, things like that. This is something I've heard over and over again in my seminars that I attended. Ko, minsan niya lagi na nila ng variety para may iba naman. But for this video, I'll just share to you the basics of it. First step is to improve your cash flow. So sa madaling salita, pataasin mo yung perang pumapasok sa'yo over sa lumalabas. Sobrang daling sabihin pero alam ko, mahirap gawin. Pero nagbigay naman sila ng mga tips on how you can do this. Una, if you're employed, you might want to ask for a promotion para tumas yung sweldo mo. Or you could apply to another employer that could give you a higher pay. Other ways to increase yung cash flow mo is by uh, getting into a job or side hustle na hindi siya capital intensive. Choose yung mga labor intensive na jobs so parang mga sales job na pwede mong gawin on the side. In that way, tataas or mag increase yung pumapasok na money sa'yo. Second step is eliminating debt or bayaran mo yung mga pagkakautang mo. So, dito naman, uh, suggestion ko lang, don't, first of all, for rule of thumb, don't get into debt, lalo yung mga unnecessary debt. If mangungutang ka just because they're a seed sale or yung item na matagal mo nang gusto is nag-sale na and parang okay na yung presyo niya for you and mangungutang ka, don't, don't get into utang para lang to buy yung mga wants mo. For huge purchases like cars and house, I get it, parang I understood na talagang kailangan natin to go to credit or debt kasi if you pay this in cash, malamang sa malamang may i-liquid ka eh. Kasi sobrang laking cash yung ilalabas mo. So I suggest sa ganito, parang uh, hanapin mo yung price, yung highest down payment na kaya mong ibayad na hindi ka maiiliquid. Para sa may mga utang naman, yung isang popular na method is yung snowball method. So, paano ba ito nag-work? So, how it works is, is kailangan mong isulat lahat ng utang mo. Kos, malamang, di ba, hindi mo mababayar, hindi mo malalaman ko ano yung utang mo kung hindi mo siya isulat kasi malamang may makakalimutan ka doon. So, isulat mo muna yung mga utang mo, yung kanino ka nagkakautang, how much, uh, yung due date, and yung interest. So, pagka nasulat mo na lahat ng utang mo, hanapin mo yung pinaka maliit na value doon. So, they said, they suggest na bayaran mo muna na yung pinakamaliit because it will help you uh, psychologically na parang pag na-eliminate mo na yun parang maisip mo na mas kaya mong bayaran lahat ng utang mo so eliminate mo yung pinakamura hanapin mo yung next na pinakamura until pataas ng pataas hanggang sa matapos mo na bayaran lahat ng utang mo pero syempre kailangan mo din i, uh, i-consider yung due date kasi syempre parang if June na yan yun muna uunahin mo not all debts are bad debts meron din naman mga okay na utang or good debts If you want to learn more about that kind of uh, topic, please let me know sa comment section para makonsider ko siya na interested kayo na pwede ko siyang gawan ng video. Third step or step 3 is to build an emergency fund. So dito naman, what they want is for you to build 3 to 6 months ng monthly expenses mo. Parang save at least 3 to 6 months ng monthly expenses mo. So I suggest, open another savings account na nakaseparate dun sa parang talagang ginagasas mo. Parang save mo dun yung 3 months worth of your monthly expenses. Then pagka gusto mo pa siyang dagdagan, I suggest yung mga sobra, just put it in a money market fund, either through mutual funds or UIPF. Fourth step is to get protection. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, get the necessary insurance na kailangan mo. When it comes to life insurance, I suggest kumuha ka ng uh, life insurance na equal dun sa 10 years worth no expenses na pinaprovide mo for your family. Kasi sabi nila, it will take parang 10 years for your family to recover dun sa financial loss na ipaprovide mo sa kanila. So, if you have kids or breadwinner ka ng family mo, I highly encourage you na kumuha ng life insurance. There are many types ng life insurance. Merong term insurance. So, para naman dito, ibig sabihin lang nito, parang maximize mo yung premium na binabayad mo to get the highest amount of insurance na pwede sa'yo. Then, there is this whole life insurance. So, para naman dito, parang ini-insured ka nito up to age 100. Then, meron din tayong tinatawag na mga 
BUL Insurance para naman dito you're insuring your life and at the same time parang may nakalink na investment sa kanya. Just talk to an advisor na kilala mo parang they will help you find kung ano yung best insurance na right for you. Also, you might consider na kumuha ng HMO para sa health mo. Another is yung mga non-life insurance uh, for your car or pagka sa house. Yung mga ganun, you might also want to consider that. Last step is to invest. So when it comes to investing, parang ang kailangan mo i-consider is yung wants mo, yung goals mo, yung needs mo, yung uh, risk appetite mo, and yung time horizon. Common na nire-recommend nila dito is for you to parang invest in the stock market or uh, buy a property na i-resell mo at some point in time. Because parang totoo nga naman na generally over time, tumataas talaga yung value nito so nagkakaroon ng appreciation ng value. In today's age, ang dami ng pwedeng pag-investan. So pwede mo din pag-investan yung passion mo. You want to turn that into a business, pwede din yun. It's also a good idea. Pwede din naman na i-build mo yung brand mo through content generation. Pwede through blog, written blog. Pwede through audio, podcast. Pwede through video, kagaya nito, blog. Or pwede din naman yung live streaming. If you are in the technological or medical field, pwede kang gumawa ng patent or code. It will also help you generate wealth. Pwede ka din into uh, angel investing for startups naman. So, mag invest ka sa mga startup business na tingin mo maganda idea nila. So, ayun lang muna for investing. Ang dami pang iba. But yun, those are the things na I would recommend for you to consider. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button. And pagka gusto mo yung content na nire-release ko, it would really help me if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would love to turn this channel into a community and matutulungan nyo ako by liking, subscribing, and sharing this channel to your friends. Ayun lang. Hope you have a great day, guys. Bye!